Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. Hit the bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. This is a review of the Swiss Milus Archimedes. This is a recreation of some historic dive watches that the brand made, uh, now new for uh, this era. And there's a few different versions. I'm actually wearing a different color, but let me just tell you a little bit about what we have here overall. This is one of those sort of compressor or super compressor style dive watches that has an internal rotating bezel. So there isn't an external uh, rotating timing bezel, but an internal one. And you have to use the top crown here um, and operates it. This one has a free moving internal bezel, which means that once the crown is unlocked, um, it moves around at will. Some of them have a little bit of like a, like a ratcheting sensation where it clicks into place. This one moves around pretty freely. It's, uh, it's actually got a nice action to it, I have to say. And then when you want to put it in place, you just screw down the, the crown and then there's nothing it, that can happen to move it. And so that's how an internal rotating bezel works. I'm gonna move it back to the center position there because I like that. Um, the overall proportions of the case, I think work pretty well because it is a very modern feeling watch. It's not overly large. Um, the Archimedes is just 41 millimeters wide. Uh, it is water resistant to 300 meters and actually has an automatic helium release valve in there. You'll never use it, but if you're a watch nerd and you like your dive watches to be fully equipped, you want at least a few things out there with an automatic helium release valve. And I'm sort of laughing a little bit as I speak this because we just wrote a big article on the blog to watch on the history of the, uh, the automatic helium release valve and sort of how rarely it's used if you're not in the military or commercial diver that spends time in a decompression chamber. But that's a whole other story. So here is again the Archimedes in blue. And then we also have this version, which they actually call black which is funny because it's mostly brown tones and things like that. I happen to like the Salah. I love the, the look of what they call age style loom. It's brand new loom, but it's meant to look a little creamy, kind of like it's a little aged. Some people joke, they call it like Fotina. Um, I happen to like it uh, quite a bit. I just think the number, the, the colors are nice. And here you have the combination of some of the white colors as well as that sort of that vintage loom color. I'm a big fan of the arrow style hand um, paired with the Dauphine style minute hand. Um, when it's in this orientation, it looks like a squid or something like that. Um, not necessarily what they were going for, but it is nice to see um, some of those interesting shapes on there for sure. Um, not too much interesting decoration on the watch itself. I think that Milus really tried to keep it uh, simple and elegant. Um, I like that they, ha they went ahead and tried to make a dive watch that had a little bit of a dressy element to it. And so they very much wanted to make this feel casual. The watch comes with the strap off and it has these very simple um, quick releases that don't require any tools or anything like that. So the idea is that you could swap in whatever other straps you want. It wouldn't necessarily be as easy to take on or off, but if you weren't into this blue fabric, the blue fabric looks nice. I don't know that this one would, would age the best um, out of all of them because the fabric tends to fray over time um, and this one is just a leather strap. So there's a lot of different strap choices you could do with this. I would actually think a NATO style strap on this would be quite nice. You'd have to get your own spring bar here, a flat spring bar, um, but that's uh, a small expense for sure. Inside the watch is a Swiss Etta uh, 2892. So that's a, a slightly uh, higher end movement than, than entry level. That would be sort of the 2824 would be your absolute base model, but the 2892 is thinner, gonna perform a little bit better than the, uh, the 2824. So that's nice to know that inside of here is a 2892. Again, this is the Milus Archimedes. It comes in a few colors. This is the blue one. This is the black one. And the price for each is 1,919 Swiss francs. And you can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.